Welcome to the Umbrail VAM guide. I'll be showing you how to set up Umbrail in VAM, as well as showing you how to go about doing some adjustments. Alright, let's get into it. Initial installation. Download both the Umbrail package and dependency document, and place these into your VAM's add-on packages folder. You can download these files directly from VAM Hub's website or IMI's site, but there's also an option to do this when you're actually in VAM itself. Installing dependencies. Let's first open the default scene that comes with the Umbrail package. Let's open the package manager. Now scan the hub for missing packages and click download all at the top right. Wait for all the packages to finish downloading and click close, then click return to scene view. Now click rescan packages at the top and then reload the scene. Let's set up a preset for Umbrail so she loads assets like her hair and horns in by default. Remember, once you set this up, you won't have to redo this step again. Make sure your UI is toggled on. Hit the pointer icon. Go to Session Plugins and add a plugin. Select BlazeDust CUA Manager and hit Add Me. Click Allow Always. Open the custom UI. Enter Umbrail as Input Save preset name. Then hit Save the Linked Atoms preset. And then just click Anywhere and click Remove All Linked Assets Filtered. Make sure to do this multiple times until the hair and horns disappear. Under Select Preset, select Umbrail, then click Load Preset Replace. Click Trigger Morph, and then select Umbrail. Click Add Create Trigger. So what this does is when you load in Umbrail, this preset will automatically be applied. Go to Session Plugin Presets, and enter default as the preset name. Make sure to select Favorite, Click Create New Preset. Click Change User Default, and then click Set Current as User Defaults. Okay, now let's set up the emissive eyes and decals. Unfortunately, you will have to do this step every time you load into a scene. Go to Clothing. Select Active Only. Go to Eye Reflections and hit Customize. Click Force Reload. Then select Existing and select Serana Eyes. Make sure to favorite this so you can easily access it when you do this process. Go back and go to Plugin Presets. Now, remember Use Merge Load is enabled. This is quite important. Then select Existing, and then select Umbrail. Hit Allow Always, and wait for it to be finished. When using the Emissive plugin, an important thing to mention is that when loading a scene in that has an Emissive plugin active, a looping error message can occur. When this happens, your FPS will take a hit, and your console will be spammed with these messages. A way to fix this is to manually remove the emissive plugin, and then force reloading the eye in the clothings tab, and selecting the original eye preset. Then selecting the umbrella preset again via the plugins presets tab. Also, when on the plugins preset tab, you can see the name of the emissive shader preset currently being used. The emission shader you see here is actually tied to that scene. If you decide to load any other emission shaders, unfortunately, this won't work. However, if you want to load in another emission shader, what you can do is remove the emission plugin, save the scene, and then reload that scene again. This essentially clears the emission shader stash, allowing you to load in another shader. I thought I would mention this as this can really throw some people off if they don't know about it. This issue arises because the original Emissive plugin hasn't been updated by the original author for the latest releases of VAM. IMI has tried to fix the plugin so it works with the newer versions of VAM, however certain functions and plugins still don't work as intended, and so these issues arise. Adjusting Emissive Intensity and Post-Processing If you want to change the intensity of the eye glow, click the Characters button and go to Plugins. Go to Emissive Clothing and open Custom UI. Increase the color alpha to increase the intensity of the glow. The glow does heavily depend on your bloom. So if you want to adjust this, go to your atoms. Usually there are some post-processing plugins hidden in certain atoms. In this scene, it was hidden in autofocus point. If you don't have an atom that does this, you can create one and then add your own post-processing plugins. So find and select your post-processing atom and then go to the plugins tab. Go to your bloom plugin and open custom UI. Adjust the intensity to fit what you want. Adjusting decals and decal presets. Go to character, go to plugins, go to decal maker, and open custom UI. Here's where you can adjust some of the textures used for Umbrail. Unfortunately, you can't really adjust the hair color, as this has to be done in Unity itself. However, all the other textures are able to be adjusted here. 
There are various categories, but for now let's go over to the face and see the various decals. As you can see, there are a lot of various decals. You are able to adjust the alpha and color values to fit whatever you need. If you made some adjustments and wish to revert to default, you can always click Load Preset at the very top. Select Umbrails Decal Preset and it will revert to the default decal values. Just remember every time you make an edit to the decal values, in order to apply the changes, you will need to click Reset Texture and then Apply Texture. And that's about it. Many thanks to Immy Needs Cake for pouring Umbrail over to Vam. Please consider supporting his Patreon and checking out his website and other mods. I'll link these down in the description below. Have fun and take care. Subscribe for maximum games.